come to the fifth one the product of coal which is thick black liquid having an unpleasant smell is I will repeat the product of coal ok which is thick black liquid having an unpleasant smell is what it is like when the uh, coal is burned ok when the coal is burned uh, at uh, high temperature uh, ok so ok so uh, coal is what I should not say burn actually I should say when coal is heated ok when coal is heated to very high temperature in absence of oxygen it is heated to very high temperature so what are the things which is formed ok so we know we have discussed three things uh, coal tar coal gas ok and so uh, like I will just repeat it again the product of coal which is thick it should be thick also it should be black also it is like and it is liquid form also and it has got unpleasant smell ok. So, what it is I am reading the questions A coal tar B bitumen C lignite and D petroleum. In the previous question I did not read the options also you know because I did not feel like reading the options because uh, we know the main constituent of carbon is uh, coal is what carbon only. So, that was the reason that in the previous question I did not read the uh, options. Now, the coming to the fifth one the product of coal which is thick black liquid having an unpleasant smell the options are coal tar, bitumen, lignite and petroleum. So, we all know when coal is heated at very high temperature ok. So, what will be formed three different substances will be formed out of which the liquid one is which it is coal tar ok. So, let me write over here fifth one I will just write over here a little bit coal tar. Come to the sixth one. Now, the least polluting fuel for a vehicle is ok. Again, I will repeat the question the least polluting fuel ok. That means they are talking about the fuel which is not creating pollution or which is creating very less amount of uh, pollution. The least polluting fuel for vehicles is the options are CNG ok. Then petrol, petrol no way why because it is like we all know petrol and coal are the major reason for the uh, pollution ok and even for the global warming. So, petrol cancel petroleum we know petroleum cannot directly be used now and uh, then they have written none of this. So, we have discussed CNG what is the full form of CNG it is compressed natural gas ok. So, uh, what is the which gas is the least one uh, least polluting one. So, it is CNG and what is the full form of CNG is it is compressed natural gas ok. Now, come to the seventh one the renewable source of energy among the following is ok. I will just repeat the renewable source of energy among the following is A petrol B solar energy C coal and D kerosene ok. I will repeat it again the renewable source of energy just now I told you exhaustible that means what see how you have to relate exhaustible means what the one which is going to get over we have got limited amount of that which cannot be renewed. So, exhaustible one will become what these are non renewable ok non renewable means what these are being used from years. So, obviously these are what conventional sources of energy was the meaning of conventional conventional means the energy the sources which are being used from many years ok always conventional means what old and one old ok. So, exhaustible resources can also be known as what they get exhausted they are limited. So, these are what they cannot be we cannot renew it again again. So, non renewable 
and nominable uh, and again one more name what can be uh, uh, given like these are conventional sources. On the other hand when we talk about inexhaustible, inexhaustible sources we have got lot of like it is an uh, like unlimited sources we have got ok. When I say it is unlimited sources that means we can renew it if we want ok. So, it is known as renewable resources and renewable resources are which kind of resources the solar energy, the wind energy, the tidal energy ok, geothermal energy. So, these are the means which we have started to use now recently ok. These are not the sources which we are using from like you know many many years from years ago ok. So, how can we remember exhaustible, non renewable and conventional. So, here what they have asked seventh one the renewable, renewable means what inexhaustible ok. Source of energy among the following is A petrol, B solar energy, C coal and D kerosene. See children I am talking about renewable ok the energy which can be renewed ok. So, which energy out of this can be renewed? Can petrol be renewed? No. Can diesel, co, uh, diesel is not there, kerosene is there, can kerosene be renewed? No. Can coal be renewed? No. Renewed means what? It is not like we are forming uh, like recycling sort of nothing I am talking about, renew means what? Formation, continual formation ok. It is no end of uh, the, these thing. So, what can be the, the, the last one? The B one is given solar energy ok. So, petrol cannot be the correct answer, coal cannot be the correct answer, kerosene cannot be read either. So, what is the answer? Correct one is solar energy. Ok. Come to the eighth one now. Which of the following is the purest form of carbon? Ok. Again, I will just repeat which of the following is the purest form of carbon. Now, the purest form of carbon they are talking about ok. We have discussed this thing that uh, dash is a, or while teaching I taught you that this is the purest form of carbon. So, try to recall now I will be giving you the options coal, charcoal, coke or none of this. Again I am repeating the question as well as the options which of the following is the purest form of carbon A coal, B charcoal, C coke and D is none of this. So, the correct answer is coke because it is it, we can say that lot of carbon is present in this and so it is the purest form of the carbon ok. Now, uh, ninth one which of the following is not obtained from petroleum refining? Again I am saying which one of the following is not obtained from petroleum refining? See the options are natural gas, petroleum gas, petrol, wax. Again okay, now see we all know due to fractional distillation the petrol is the only first one if you leave the gas ok. Petrol is the first one which is which get like it uh, comes out first ok. Before that petroleum gas comes. So, first of all petroleum gas comes out then petrol comes out and even we know that wax uh, we can obtain it from the fractional distillation of the petroleum. So, now what is left natural gas. So, ninth one which of the following is not obtained from the petroleum refining is natural gas. How natural gas is obtained? I told you directly from the wells. It can be from the petroleum like uh, the uh, well from where the petrol is uh, we get the petrol and even from it has got separate wells also. It has got separate wells means what? It uh, like now uh, recently few wells are uh, you know formed uh, from where we can uh, get natural gas and how it is formed by the decomposition of the vegetables ok. Now, come to the next one tenth one ok. Which of the following is 
used to make steel ok which of the following is used to make steel the first one is kerosene second coal gas C charcoal and D coke I will just repeat it again first is kerosene then B is coal gas then charcoal and then coke. So, which of the following is used to make steel kerosene cannot be used ok coal gas is written not used charcoal is also not used but yeah coke is used ok. So, coke is used to make steel. So, I can write over here on the coke is used to make steel. Now, please come to the next one, it should be number 11. Okay, number 11, which of the following is the cleanest fuel? Okay, which one of the following is the cleanest fuel? Uh, again, they have given the options kerosene, natural gas, coal, and none of this. Okay, every time they are giving some uh, different different options. So, this time it is which of the following is the cleanest of fuel? Is it kerosene? Is it natural gas? Is it coal or is it none of this? So, it is B1 natural gas. I will not explain this time because we have discussed this thing that kerosene it pollutes coal with there is no doubt about the pollution the amount of pollution which is rare created by the coal and so what is left uh, natural gas. So, see again the same thing they are using different words for the same question earlier they asked the uh, directly they asked the uh, fuel which is responsible for the least pollution ok the fuel uh, which creates the pollution very less and lesser amount ok now they have they are asking uh, in some different way like they are saying uh, cleanest fuel ok. So, cleanest fuel means what it should look clean or what it would not take bath. So, clean fuel means what it is going to uh, it, it should be the one which creates pollution to very lesser extent ok. So, uh, which one eleventh one is the natural gas. Now, come to the twelfth one children. The right fuel for car is again they have asked earlier also they, they road vehicle ok. So, uh, here they are mentioning the name of the vehicle like suppose for example, car ok. So, what vehicle should be used for the car? Can it be CNG, can it be LPG, can it be diesel or petrol? See no doubt the liquid the petrol can be there, the diesel can be there and nowadays the people use LPGs also they put the cylinder ok, they connect the cylinders the domestic the cylinder which we use at our homes ok, they take the cylinders and they keep it. But what is the right way, what is the absolute correct fuel? So, that is which one it is none other than CNG that means compressed natural gas. Now, come to the 13th one, the fuel used in thermal power plant in India is ok. Again, I am repeating the fuel which is used in thermal power plant in India is. So, the options they have given coal, petrol, natural gas and none of this, but we know that petrol and natural gas are not used rather coal is used in the industries also for various purposes ok. So, in thermal power plants especially we all know coal is used ok. So, I will write here coal. Now, come to the 14th one. Which of the following about fossil fuels is not correct ok. Again I am asking you I am reading the question again which of the following 
about fossil fuels is not correct okay that means we are talking about an incorrect sentence a they are remains of ancient living organism they are not talking about the correct answer they are talking about the incorrect so the first one is they are remains of ancient living organism it's correct it is okay fossil fuels fossil fuels are formed in this way only so they are remains of ancient living organism is a correct one so we cannot write this as a answer come to the second one they cause air pollution when this one is correct why because we all know we have discussed fossil fuels are responsible for global warming okay for creating the pollution and which relates to the global warming so this one is correct sentence and so it cannot be the answer because they are talking about an incorrect answer now next one is they mainly contain carbon no doubt they have other things also like when we talk about coal it has hydrogen also it is uh, already it has carbon then hydrogen nitrogen okay so they have other substances but the major part is carbon again this one is correct and so it cannot be the correct answer because they are looking for an incorrect one and last one is they can be recycled so we all know uh, just imagine if we could have recycled uh, like you know like i should say in this way like if we can recycle if we can recycle petrol so our life uh, like there would be no tension like that yeah like just imagine if uh, we, we get the formula of recycling petrol so which is not possible okay so they can be recycled so this one is incorrect one and so i will write the can be recycled okay what they have written here recycled okay now come to the 15th one okay which of the following about coal is not correct okay again they are looking for an incorrect thing okay so while when you write the paper please read properly sometimes we check for the correct one but this time they are asking for the incorrect one now which of the following about coal is not correct let me read the options it contains only carbon okay it contains only carbon it leaves residue on burning which of the following about coal is not correct means an incorrect it contains only carbon uh, just now we have discussed that coal contains carbon but along with the carbon but along with the carbon it has got oxygen it has got phosphorus also okay nitrogen is also present hydrogen is also present so few more uh, elements are also there which is present in this okay so uh, this one it contains only carbon cannot be the correct one so this one is the answer which i have to write but before that let me read the all other options so b is it leaves residue on burning so yeah it leaves coal leaves residue on burning ash you can see a lot of ash okay then it has different uh, varieties uh, okay yeah it has got like anthracite bitumen lignite okay peat so all these are what these are the varieties of coal so this one is also correct none of this no we have got one okay so what is the correct answer for this in uh, correct answer means what we are supposed to write an incorrect sentence so it contains only carbon it contains only carbon okay why because it contains hydrogen also it contains oxygen sulfur phosphorus okay so all these are present and so this one is an incorrect answer now come to the next one now next what do we have next we have true and false okay so just let me write the heading question number is
its third okay and this one was what question number second second ka fifth chalu hai and here the question number is what its second and so now this one is question number third there should be no mistake regarding the numbers now its what true and false okay so now we'll be talking about true and false so now true and false first one coal and petroleum are called fossil fuels okay what they are asking coal and petroleum okay coal and petroleum are called fossil fuels so yeah it's absolutely correct because coal and petroleum are called as fossil fuels okay so the first one is true okay now second one okay what's the meaning of fossil fuels fossil fuels are those fuels which are obtained by what i have taught you now so you should be knowing when uh, the plants and the animals get what was hap what happened like millions of millions of years of oh ho millions of years ago when the plants and the animals got buried under the soil and was there in the soil only but the high temperature and pressure was created and in absence of oxygen this got converted into fuels and these fuels are known as fossil fuels don't they think that these things are being repeated again and again rather if you listen to this if you if you hear this thing again and again it will certainly it is going to go into your brains directly okay so now come to the second one coal tar is the purest form of carbon i'll repeat coal tar is the purest form of carbon just before few questions we have solved in the different question okay what the what is the purest form so and uh, we know that the purest form is what coke so here uh, they have asked coal tar is the purest form they are saying so of what carbon so it should be what false third one kerosene is a lighter fuel than diesel okay what they are asking kerosene is a lighter fuel then diesel that means they are saying kerosene is lighter and the petrol is heavier so no it's not so what sh what shall i kerosene is lighter than fuel then uh, i'm so sorry the question is quite different they are asking diesel they have said and i read petrol okay i just read it once again for you kerosene is a lighter fuel than diesel that means they are talking they are saying that kerosene is lighter one than diesel yeah it is absolutely so i will write true okay now come to the fourth one i'll write fourth here okay come to the fourth one natural gas is obtained by fractional distillation of petroleum please do not get confused any time between coal gas okay natural gas petroleum gas so all these gases are different i'll take rather one question where we have to talk about or will be talking about the differences between these gases which gases rather i'm saying about i'm talking about natural gas okay uh, petroleum gas okay and uh, cng so all these gases are different so here they are talking about they are saying which one we are discussing fourth one natural gas is obtained by fractional distillation of petroleum no false which gas is formed due to fractional distillation okay so which gas is formed due to fractional distillation lpg is formed not the natural gas okay now come to the fifth one lpg leaves ash as a residue burning just see us your mama when she or even you see you people are in eighth standard so you should be able to understand uh, if you switch on the gas is anything left behind that no so what's the question lpg leaves ash ash as 
residue burning. So, it should be what? It should be false. Okay, now come to the sixth one. Why is it like why we have written false? Because we all know LPG is again a clean, a cleaner type of fuel and it does not leave ash or does not even emit fear, uh, you know, smoke also. Okay, now come to the next one, sixth one. Main cause of global warming is burning of fossil fuels. While discussing the question answers only. I told this thing uh, tries uh, I, sh I, I think so yeah while like discussing other questions I am being and telling and telling and saying this continuously like because of fossil fuels because of petrol because of kerosene because kerosene because of diesel because of coal oh, all these are what all these are fossil fuels and and the uh, pollution. <coughs> And on burning of these these fuels, what happens? Pollution is being created. Okay. So, what is the question? Which one we are talking about? Six. Main cause of global warming is burning of fossil fuels. That is true. Come to the seventh one now. Natural gas mainly contains methane ok see they are talking about which gas now natural gas ok. So, natural gas mainly contains what we did it in another form of objective that natural gas mainly contains methane. So, they are also saying the same thing. So, it is what true. You all should also remember how it is formed. Okay, we have discussed this thing also. Now, eighth one, anthracite has maximum carbon contained. What is anthracite? It's a variety of coal. Okay, peat, lignite. Okay, and um, anthracite, bituminous. Okay, all these are what? These are the varieties of coal. So, uh, what they are saying? Anthracite is a one which has got maximum contain. So, yes that is the reason we say that it is a hard it, it, it is a best one it is the best coal ok. So, anthracite has a maximum carbon compound it is the eight one now and this is true. Now, come to the ninth one global warming leads to greenhouse effect oh my god what uh, they have given the um, just opposite ok. See uh, in exams do not be always wish like you know we should check the things we should read the questions properly because in one glance it will be like ok global warming due to greenhouse ok correct, but they have written it uh, like ulta. See global warming leads to greenhouse effect or greenhouse effect leads to global warming ok. So, this they have written wrong why because global warming does not like global due to global warming what will happen due to global warming the uh, temperature of the earth will increase ok. See carbon dioxide increased ok and this is known as what when the carbon dioxide increases we know that this gas is a greenhouse gas ok. This is a greenhouse gas when the greenhouse gas increase that means it is going to absorb more of the heat. When more heat is absorbed then what is going to happen the temperature of earth will increase ok. Temperature of earth will what increase this increase in the temperature of earth is known as what global warming ok. It is known as what global warming now due to this global warming that means when the temperature of earth get increase what will happen the ice. Ok, the ice which is present on the polar areas will get melt, it will get melted ok. When the ice will get melted the sea level ok, the sea level will get increased. When sea level will get increased the areas which are there near the sea they will get submerged in the water. That is the reason why it is so dangerous that even if the temperature of the earth increases 
by a certain Celsius, you know, certain, you know, very in a small amount, then also it's very dangerous. Why? Because it's impacting directly the eyes which is present on the polar areas. Okay. So it starts melting. It will. It will. It will start uh, melting. If the, like that, when the temperature increases, it will melt. And obviously, it is going to increase the level of the sea, which will again give rise to many problems. Why? Because the areas which are near the sea will be under the water. That part will be removed from the, or it will be, it will get disappeared from the uh, map of the earth. Why? Because it will go under the water. When a land part, in the map of the land part, it won't exist. Okay. Now. Uh, ninth one, global warming leads to, we have discussed, I have not written the answer, false, rather it is ulta, like greenhouse effect will lead to the global warming. Now tenth one, petroleum is a complex mixture of many compounds, again I will repeat, petroleum is a complex mixture of many compounds. Yeah, that is absolutely correct. Why? Because in petroleum many compounds are there. What is there? Uh, like we know like petrol we get from there, or wax we get, kerosene, okay. So a lot many things are there. So all these compounds are there. So what they have was petroleum is complex mixture of many compounds. So it is the tenth one and this is what it is true. Now come to the 11th one. Now, ONGC deals with exploration of petroleum in India. ONGC, an oil company, okay, deals with exploration of petroleum in India. It's absolutely correct. It's true. It's a very huge company. Okay. It's true. Now, we'll move to the next question. See, this was the third question. Now we will move to the question number fourth, and the question number fourth is what? It's match the column. Okay, it's what match the pairs. For this, definitely I'll have to write that side only. 